Let's kick it off with weed, AKA marijuana, jazz, spinach, Nelson manned edibles. For many people, it has been an important way to get through the coronavirus lockdowns. But now it turns out it might also be a cure for coronavirus itself. A study in Canada has prompted the idea that marijuana can help cure COVID-19. Researchers at the University of Lethbridge in Canada applied multiple strains of CBD to cells to see if it changed their ability to be infected by the COVID-19 virus. They found that high concentrations of CBD lowered the number of cells that the virus could attach itself to. The study is a preprint publication. That means it hasn't been peer reviewed and the tests haven't been repeated yet. Can you believe it? It turns out your high school stoner friend was right. Weed really can do it all. And man, if this really works, it kind of makes sense. I mean, the coronavirus is on the way to infecting your lungs and then it hits all the weed and all of a sudden the virus is like, wait, where was I going? What am I doing here? Wow, have you ever noticed how like I'm a virus, but I'm like also like a, like a, like a thing? Now, before you order a Costco sized nug, Keep in mind that this study was released before being peer reviewed. Yeah, which means it hasn't been confirmed, right? You see all the articles that are like, oh, CBD cures this thing, CBD, but it hasn't been confirmed. And you know, it's always weird to me when researchers put studies out themselves. I mean, you'd think somebody else would have to put out their studies, but they just do it themselves. It's almost like mix, mixtape rappers, you know, like those guys in the streets. Hey, what's up fam? You like science, man? You like science? Yo, you want science? Check this out, man. This got some dope reviews in the control group and in the variable group, man. You want to check this out, man? Yeah, check it out. Come on. Look, in my opinion, people shouldn't be able to put studies out before they've been verified. I mean, before I realized that this study wasn't peer reviewed, I ran out and I bought a bunch of weed. What am I supposed to do with all of it now? And another big caveat is that this study was backed by a CBD company. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know why weed people are always working so hard to find additional benefits to weed. Isn't it enough that it just gets you high? I mean, there's no meth heads out there who are like, and try scrubbing some meth on your car, it makes it really shiny. Now you see why I like it, right? Now, maybe getting high isn't your vice. You know, maybe you're into something else, like gambling. Well, if that's the case, there's good news for you too, because Vegas is coming back, baby. Well, the Las Vegas Strip could welcome visitors back as early as June 1st. You'll see a lot of social distancing. Tables will be six feet apart. Uh, menus will be paper menus or will be sanitized between each and every use. So there's, there's almost without exaggeration, not one part of the business that is not going to change. On top of that, every other slot machine is out of service with the chairs removed as well. The same goes for the poker table too. Caesar employees are gonna be using these electronic sprayers to disinfect the dice and the elevator buttons. As for masks, they are mandatory for the employees. They will be given out to guests even on the gaming floor, something that has never been seen before in Sin City casinos. That's right. Vegas casinos are about to reopen. Although I'll be honest, I don't know why anyone needs a casino right now. I mean, I feel like every time you step into Whole Foods, you're placing the ultimate bet. All right, baby, let's put it all on the line for another tub of yogurt. Now, thankfully, casinos in Vegas say that they're gonna be instituting some new safety measures like handing out masks. And wearing masks while gambling would be great, especially for me, because whenever I play poker, I've got this thing that I do with my tongue that's a tell, and it's like, it's like a really tiny little thing. I'm all in. One thing's for sure though, this is definitely gonna change some of the classic gambling traditions, like blowing on the dice for good luck, huh? Or wiping your nose with your cards or storing poker chips in your mouth. We can't do that anymore. And finally, let's check in with Mike Pence, vice president of the United States and guy who covers his eyes when Simba and Nala kiss. Yesterday, Unfunny Steve Martin was in Florida to see how their reopening is going. And when he stopped for lunch at a local restaurant, he gave us the most Mike Pence moment imaginable. Now, Vice President Mike Pence did something this week many of us are patiently waiting to do, order food inside a restaurant. He stopped at a burger joint with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis yesterday. What do you recommend? So, do you like spicy or not spicy? Of course Mike Pence wants not spicy. This dude's favorite spice girl was Celine Dion. Seriously, it's crazy that Mike Pence can even eat at restaurants considering all his diet restrictions. I also can't have any meat that's touched other meat. It's a sin. Also, what you didn't see in that clip, because they cut it out, was the part when the employee asked Pence if he wants breasts or thighs, and then mother came in and tackled the shit out of him. 